Bij mij de dames van Warpaint. Hi ladies, how are you doing? Fresh off the stage uh, from the Pyramid Mark here at Rockwerchter, day one. That's right. We don't, we didn't really know it's day one, so it I mean. Is. It is. I but saw it on the, on, the, on the timetable. Yeah, I guess it is. For us, it's just every another, day. It's just another day. Day after day. After, after day, day, after day, after day, after day. It seems like you're almost bored with it, like day after day, the same no, thing, no, playing no. amazing gigs. No, no, day after day, amazing day after amazing day. That's what we meant to say. Not, not the least bit bored. I think it was Jenny Lee who I heard saying that it was a very sexy crowd, she thought. Oh, she did? She's when did you talk to her? I, I was watching the show and she uh, addressed the crowd. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Oh. They were sexy. They were we moving. Have, we do have they, a song called clapping. You Guys Are a Sexy Crowd. So <laughs> maybe that's what you... She does tell everyone that when she sings that yeah, song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is true. Um, but they were. They were extraordinarily what sexy. The Belgian crowd sexy. Is it the dancing? Is it singing along? Is it just their physical appearance? The clapping, the clapping is very sensual clapping. Yeah. What, what's sensual clapping? I want to I wanna know now. It's like in like, time and really slow. Like... Boom. Oh. Yeah, that's ridiculous. All right, oof. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was incredibly sexy. Well, no, no, it's cool. That one brought me up. I got really excited by that. <laughs> you, uh, you bring very intimate music, very uh, intense music. Is it hard to um, bring that across on a big stage like this com compared to uh, a club, for example? Uh, well, honestly, it used to be. It used to be hard uh, because when you're in a club, you can hear what the audience is hearing because you're basically like set in in with the audience, you know, and when you're on a big stage, it, it took us a long time to, well, like a while to figure out how to feel that same vibe on stage and be able to translate it. But I feel like we've done it enough now that um, we know how to adjust our stage sound. I mean, it's really technical, so it's taking out all the, like, the uh, vibiness of the, the question and the idea. But yeah, like, we, have, we had to tweak our on stage sounds in order to be able to feel what the audience is feeling. So you feel ever since the release of your debut album, The Fool, uh, back in 2010, um, do you feel you have evolved also live and maybe the songs on itself? Yeah, definitely. Well, when we recorded the album, we had not played live very much. I well, I mean, with with in that formation, it was there were like three shows that we played, and one of them didn't even have vocals. So yeah. we were kind of unaccustomed as a group to the live setting. Um, so I think it's definitely it's changed. It's a world away now. You get a call from uh, Belgium, like, hey, can you come and play our big festival, a uh, couple of thousand people? We said no, but we they forced no. us, yeah. And they paid a lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah. No, it's great to be here. It's great to be back. We've been here a few times, so it's yeah. very honoured. Belgium, Belgium, always nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last time you were here was also in, in somewhere at the end of the year, I think. Yeah, what, do you remember anything from that? Yeah. Right, we played oh. a festival in Brussels. Well, that we wasn't the Tonique. last time. Well, Tonique, that, we've yeah. been to AB. What's that? Yeah. AB. AB. Since... And we played, we played shortly before Holy Fuck, who we've now become friends with because we played with them in um, Australia. Australia in January. But we, at that time we were just fans and Stella and I just like crawled up above, up, yeah. up like up the highest ladder and went up to the catwalk and watched Holy Fuck play after we played. Yeah. And all you guys are friends, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're geniuses, legends. They are very cool. One of them just had a baby. Actually, a couple of them are having babies. Yeah. So congratulations for me. They won't know me, but anyways. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Holly. Uh. I saw you guys play on uh, later with Jules Holland a while ago, uh, and you were also playing with Alison Krauss, which is one of my all-time favorite singers. Did you get to meet her? Yeah. Talk to Newman. Her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We. I mean, Stella. Okay. Only one person was allowed to go and take a photo with all the legends and fucking. Stella, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't you know guys why nominated me. I, I don't me. know why I agreed. Why are you so mad at me? It's good. The drummer is always in the back, anyways, and now you get. To I am in the back. Drummer. I am in the back. Never in the back. I am. I am. None of us are in the back. Well, physically, I mean, physically. I'm in the back. Yeah. But yeah. none of us are ever in the back. That's the whole point of war paint, in my opinion, is the fact that it's like a, it's a complete democracy. It's a four piece that stands like as, e like each place, each person is equally as important as another, which I don't think a lot of fans really t uh, focus on, or they, they don't take that, they don't choose to take that perspective, you know what I mean? It's usually like the front man, singer, or like guitar player, I don't know. I just I just feel like that's the unique thing about Warpaint is that all of us shares that spotlight, if you want to say, you know, so. It's a four-headed beast. Yeah. Four-headed beast, that's a nice way to put it. 
Um, with guy bands, you always have uh, friendships within the band, like bromance, so to say. Who has the biggest sister mans in your band? That's even a word. Is there a word for that? There's got to be a better word for that. Let's think of it. Um, cyst. Cyst. Who has the biggest who cyst? Who has the biggest cyst? I want to know. Who is your cyst? Who am I? Who Who is growing on me? Um, everyone. I can't pick one. Mm. No. Well, we um, I think we go. We We've been on the road like nonstop for about a year and a half, almost two years, and we've gone through all kinds of different phases of people getting along in here and there. And like, it, what it all comes down to is the fact that we all have these like equal relationships. I know it sounds like it sounds really hippie. Yeah. Yeah. And it just seems like oh, that's not possible. But really, really, when it comes down to it, it's like we're all we are all equal parts in the band. We all have equal things to say about almost every aspect of the music that we make. Like, she, just because she plays drums doesn't mean that she won't, like, put a, a piano part down or have something to say about the overall um, arrangement of a song. Or You know, so it's like, truly, we all write the music, and truly, we all need to have our own great interaction, the relationships with each other. And that's, that's like, basically, besides playing great shows every night, that's our other main goal every day. We're on the road with each other and around each other all the time, and we want to know how we can get along best with each other and love each other the best. And then that, that's, to me, it's ultimate. Otherwise, it will all fall apart. Yeah. Well, and we don't want that because we want to see many more great shows, new albums. When are you going to start the new album? Somewhere in this year? Soon, yeah. Really right. soon. Very looking forward to that. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Warpage.